No laughing. All right. All right. So what we've got here is a 1957 uh, uh, Cadillac uh, Eldorado, I think it is. Yeah. And this is a, a, a trunk latch pull-down motor. Now, I, I just got to tell you, we're really thrilled we got this thing going because you see this armature right here? Now, this is out of the seat uh, position mechanism. That commutator doesn't look too good, does it? <laughs> well, this thing had been underwater. This commutator... Actually, the insulator that holds it to the shaft had swollen up in the water, expanded, and actually cracked the commutator off. Now, this particular armature, the wire's a little brown, indicating that they have been hot, but, they're, but we checked them, and they're still good. We may be able to save this armature the same way that we save the armature in this motor. And that is, we pull this washer off the back, counter bore underneath the commutator, and then reposition it and fill it in with high temperature uh, acrylic plastic, uh, methyl methacrylate. And, and uh, now that's what we've done to the, uh, uh, to the armature in this motor. And by golly, watch this. Are you ready? There she goes in one direction. So now the, the, the trunk is either locking or releasing. I'm not sure. Go ahead and hit the other one. And goes the other direction as well. And uh, uh, it's, you know, for an older motor, it's strong 9 amps, you know, which is a lot. But these older motors, they were high amperage draw, and this thing only goes long enough to pull the trunk down or to release it and pull it up. So, uh, uh, you know, we, we had this thing free running as little as 6 amps with the gear head on it and, and what have you. That's It's just not unusual for it to draw that kind of amperage. But... For a short-run motor, uh, uh, we got it back together. We have lots of backup photographs showing uh, uh, the interior of this before and after. And, boy, it's clean as a whistle now. So uh, that's our story, and we're sticking to it. Thank you for your view.